What's up, pedos? And we're back with a little tutorial. This one is just how I form doubles and triples and stuff like that. Uh, so three songs I'm using today, as you can see. Uh, basically, all you want to do when you're trying to do a double or a triple, or like keep a double going, is know your songs. So for the first song, I used Serum Speedball. And it's got 416 bars in the drop. And I usually bring another song in after 216 bars of the song playing. So as you can see, in the middle, there's like a little, there's a lighter blue, which is, is halfway of the drop. And that's when I would play my next tune, which is the Benny L one, whatever. Then I would just like carry that on continuously until I wanted like a break or something and that's basically just how I form all the doubles that's just like very very basic so basically the main two points for me is that you have to like know your songs and know the like that how many memory cues you've got like I should I did a video on how many memory cues you should have on a song go check that out or whatever you use the memory cues as guidance for when you're adding another tune. For example, so Speedball. It's got four memory cues, and let's say the other tune I've got is four memory cues as well. So like the Benny L one. I use those as guides. So let's say I'm playing the Speedball tune, and I want the Benny L tune to drop the same time as that tune. I will then copy where the song is playing on the other tune. So if, when it hits memory cue two, or three even, I will then play the third one on the other tune. It's very confusing what I've just said, but that makes sense in my head. I don't understand how you would understand it, but whatever you think of what I've just said, whatever. Then you can incorporate a third tune. So let's say this is six 16 bars instead of four. So once you've added the second tune in at that marker that I already said about, do the same for the other tune that's playing, but don't take the original tune away, if that makes sense. And obviously what I'm showing is just very basic, but this is how I formulate, form all my doubles and triples. So just I would start off doing what I'm doing and then just build on it. I don't know, build some flavours off it. Shout out to Maddie Matheson. Build, you've got to build the flavours. And get tunes that work together. Like I spend a lot of my time looking through songs, seeing which doubles work. I usually get like minimal tunes and then like jump up tunes or roller tunes or whatever you want, or like neuro tunes. Um, I haven't really done it here, but you can just, just try loads of different songs together. And then I always have a folder on record box of tunes that work really well together. So then I'll just whack them in later when I'm doing a mix. You know what I mean? And it saves me so much time when like doing a set or whatever. Sorry if you didn't understand anything I said there, which might be fair enough, but if you did, awesome. If not, leave a comment. I'll see if I can work on it. But now I'm just gonna but now here, I'm just going to show exactly what I've talked about. As complicated as it sounds, but I don't really know other, any other way to get it across than that.
いやいやいやいやいや。